Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of SPSS. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, we are going to discuss the idea of multiple linear regression model, MLRM. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos on economics, econometrics, SPSS and RStudio. Let me begin with the idea of multiple linear regression model. Multiple linear regression model is the extension of simple linear regression model. So in simple linear regression model, we have two variables. Y is equal to alpha plus beta X plus mu. Since we have only two variables, this model is also known as binary linear regression model. So here we are measuring the effect of X on Y. Now in multiple linear regression model, we have more than two variables. So we can write multiple linear regression model as y is equal to alpha plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus up to plus beta n xn plus mu. So here we are measuring the separate effect of each independent variable on our dependent variable. So we are measuring the effect of x1 on y1, x2 on y2, y up to xn on y. So here we have more than two variables in our model. Now what is B1, beta1? One? Beta1 one shows the change in y for a unit change in x1. Similarly, beta2 shows the change in y for a unit change in x2. So that is the interpretation of regression coefficient. So now we have this data with us. We have the employment data. First variable is ID that shows the employee code. Then we have uh, education that shows the educational level in years. Then we have salary that is the current salary of the employees. Then we have beginning salary and month since higher, that is job time. So now we want to examine this model. So let's say salary depends on educational level plus beta to beginning salary plus beta 3 job time. So let's assume that we have specified uh, the, the model in this manner. So we want to find the effect of educational level on salary, beginning salary on the current salary and job time on the current salary. So therefore we can use multiple linear regression model. Let's see the data view. This is the data view. We have ID, educational level, salary, beginning salary and job time. Now how to perform multiple linear regression model in SPSS. So go to analyze regression linear. Go to analyze. In analyze we have regression. In regression we have the option of linear. So click on linear. We have this dialog box. So what is our dependent variable? Our dependent variable is current salary. So move current salary to the dependent variable box. We have three independent variables, educational level, beginning salary and months since higher. Move them to the independent box and simply click on OK. Right, you can uh, see the result in the output window. So here, first see the value of R square. It is 0 0.801. The value of R square is 0 0.801. That means 80% of 
variation is at 80 percent variation independent variable is explained by our independent variables so it's a good sign then we have ANOVA. So here the SIG value of ANOVA is 0 0.00, which is less than 0 0.05. And therefore, it is statistically significant. The ANOVA, the p value for ANOVA is significant. So ANOVA shows the overall significance of our model. So therefore, we can say that this model is better than better than intercept only model. Right? Now let's see the coefficients. Here we have the coefficient table. You can see all coefficients are statistically significant because the associated p-values are less than 0 0.05. And here we have the values of coefficients. Now how... Uh, how we can write the entire model. So we have salary, which is equal to constant. So constant is minus 1.19986.502 plus what is beta 1? It is 966.107 into educational level plus 1.689 that is beta 2 into beginning salary plus 155.701 that is beta 3 job time. So this is our multiple linear regression model. So if educational level increases by one unit, the current salary will increase by $966. If beginning salary uh, increases by $1.689, then the current salary will, sorry, if beginning salary increases by $1, current salary will increase by $1.689. And if job time increases by one unit, then the current salary will increase by $155. So this is how we can interpret the result of multiple linear regression model. First, we have R square. Then we have ANOVA, which shows the overall significance of the model. And then we can interpret the uh, values of coefficients if they are statistically significant. And we can specify the model. And we can also estimate the dependent variable by using the values of independent variables. If you find this video useful, Kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find various videos of SPSS. The link is given in the description. Thank you.